The word of the week is SAINT! A saint is a person acknowledged as a holy or virtuous and regarded in Christian faith as being in heaven after death. In our school we have four saints as our schoolhouses. Saint Barnabas, Saint Clare, Saint Margaret and Saint Hugh. These four people did something exceptional and selfless in their lives to be recognised as a saint. Some of the virtues of being a saint are faith, spreading the word of God and teachings from the Bible, hope, giving hope to those who are struggling and need help, and charity, giving to, to, giving to others in need like food, clothing and fundraising. There have been many modern day people who have been recognised as saints for the incredible selfless things they have done in their lives. Mother Teresa set up soup kitchens, orphanages and homes for the sick and dying. She treated the sick, educated the poorest of the poor and fed the homeless. She gave orphans a new chance at life showing unconditional love to all, giving hope to all and living a life of charity through her faith in God. Maximilian Kolb was a Polish priest. At the outbreak of the Second World War, he had thousands of Jewish people in his church away from the German soldiers. Eventually, he was found and sent to Auschwitz concentration camp where he volunteered to take the place of a prisoner being sent to his death. While awaiting his fate, he prayed with the other prisoners, giving them hope while sharing his faith. Our scripture this week is from Acts chapter 9 when we hear about Saul's conversion to Paul. We will now watch a video of how Saul became Paul. The Miracle of Mercy Paul This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. and he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way, and as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately, Saul could see again, and with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt, and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters, 
but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Paul began his life not believing in God and persecuting those who did. God forgave him and gave him a good chance while proving his existence, sending an ice to heal him. Paul then went on to preach that Jesus was the Son of God and help others. In our school, we have recently renamed two of our rooms after saints. Our IT suite has been taken a new name, the Carlo Acutis Library and Research Room. We have chosen Carlo Acutis as the name of the room because of the amazing work he did to the homeless. Our other newly renamed room, formerly known as the Bio Room, is the St. Teresa of Lisieux Room. As part of your mission this week, we would like you to visit the room and take part in the prayer station, which, which will help you learn more about her. We also have a new chapel that you can quietly do your own prayers in. Carlo Cutis had a motto, motto, dare to be a saint. For your reflection activity this week is to think about and write down different ways that you could dare to be a saint. Whether that is to helping others at school, at home or in your local community, working on our school virtues of care, compassion or, an, or any other ways you can bring faith, hope and charity to others. You may want to do this on your own, in your prayer journals or as an open discussion with your class. Your mission this week is to live out one of the saint-like virtues you have reflected on in school or at home this week, and to visit our Carlo Cutis Library and Research Room, St. Terrace of Lazur Room, and take part in the prayer stations. Bye, have a great week!